Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another ultimate clean with me. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope this gives y'all a lot of cleaning motivation and you get up and you clean along with me. I always love hearing what all you guys got done. So definitely leave it down below if you decided to clean along with me and you got a lot of stuff done that was on your cleaning list today. So I just decided to start in my kitchen on this video. We had just finished up lunch and so I needed to to go ahead and tidy up in there and I still hadn't unloaded my dishwasher or anything like that I pretty much just saved all of my morning um, cleaning chores that I normally do and I just waited until I started filming this video whenever I'm filming a cleaning video normally I just wait because I want as much as I can possibly do in the video. So yeah, that is why I still had not unloaded my dishwasher. So I was just gonna go ahead and start on that. And today's video, I am working with Grove Collaborative. So be sure to stay tuned because I am gonna have some free items for you guys with all of their spring Mrs. Meyer scents. These are some of my favorite scents. They have the mint, peony, and lilac. And oh my gosh, these and and the Christmas ones are my favorite ones that they come out with. So definitely be sure to stay tuned for that because I am gonna have a way for you guys to get them for free. But yeah, I did just wanna let you guys know about that because I did get a few messages on my Instagram. A few of y'all were so sweet and you were telling me that you were waiting on me to post my Grove video. That way y'all could order through my link. So thank you so much to everyone who orders through my link. It really means so much to me. see at the moment I am using the mint scent from Mrs. Meyer so I'm just using the dish soap to wash off this pan but the mint scent has got to be my favorite the peony is also really good but I would say the mint is my number one peony would be second and lilac would be last not that the lilac is bad it's still really good but I am just kind of crazy about the mint and the peony it's some of the best Mrs. Meyer scents out there <laughs> The artist I'll never be I'm so sorry I never stay Overreact and just walk away Take me back to the place I So now that I've got my kitchen all tidied up, I am just going to use my mint multi-surface spray and wipe down my counters. I've been trying to stay on top of that a lot since we've been in this house. I think it's just because um, the weather has been amazing here. And so we've been leaving the windows open and the door open while the kids play outside. And it's just been so great. But um, if we leave any crumbs out, our ants are crazy here, I guess. And they are just like on it within seconds. So I really have to make sure I keep my counters all clean and tidy and no crumbs on there. to show you guys some of my new Easter items that I recently got at Home Goods. I just picked up this bunny and I had had that topiary piece but then I also picked up this pink candle and it smells amazing. I can't remember what the scent is but it smells up the whole house and it kind of has like a spicy scent. And then I also got this crystal cross and I thought it would be perfect for Easter. But that is also from Home Goods and I believe it was about $14.99. Here is all of the new spring Mrs. Meyer scents. Like I said, there is mint, lilac, and peony. And if I had to recommend one, it would definitely be, oh man, that's really hard because mint would be my top favorite, but I feel like everyone should try out peony. 
Grove Collaborative is offering all of their new customers the Mrs. Myers Spring Hand Soap, Dish Soap, Multi-Surface Spray. They're also going to give you guys the Wildflower Bubble Up Brush and the Walnut Scrubber Sponges. And I use those Walnut Scrubber Sponges all the time for everything. They're really good. And this deal is only going to last as supplies last. And normally they sell out pretty quickly. So you guys definitely get your hands on them while you can. And I also saw on the Grove Collaborative site that they do have room sprays in all of these scents as well. And I was able to get my hands on all three of those scents so I'm really excited to be using those as well so definitely check out the link down below I will have it in the description box so y'all can get to it easily and once again thank you guys to everyone who has waited on my link that truly means so much to me it helps my channel out so much whenever y'all use my links on the Grove Collaborative site, I recently got one of these glass hand soap bottles and I just thought this would look so good in my kitchen. I'm just trying to keep everything sleek and almost glam. So I was thinking this would look a lot better than having the Mrs. Myers bottles out. I'm just going to pour all of my mint hand soap into this bottle and use it instead. And I think it turns out so beautiful. But one thing that I'm sure of is All right, so now I'm going into my living room, which really wasn't too much of a mess, but today was floors day, and I'm still trying to figure out a new weekly cleaning routine and daily cleaning routine in this house. Just trying to figure out what needs to be done more often um, than others. And I was going to do my floors once a week, but I'm realizing that I think I'm going to have to do it at least twice a week, um, if not maybe three times a week, because these floors are very shiny. And so every time you walk on it with bare feet, you can definitely see like little footprints. I'm going to show you all that in a minute. You'll get to really see it. But um, yeah, we definitely do plan to replace the floors eventually. But for now, like that's probably going to be the last thing we do in this house but for now I'm just gonna have to sweat a little bit more and <laughs> have to mop my floors more often but before I did that I wanted to go ahead and vacuum everything up because you know you vacuum before you mop <laughs> but once I do get my new cleaning routines figured out I am going to be doing a video on that so stay tuned for all of that it's probably going to take me a month or two to you know really like iron things out and figure out what needs to be done daily and what needs to be done weekly but I do definitely plan on doing those videos once I get it all figured out for you guys but this is where you can really see all of the little footprints everywhere and our floors are just so shiny so it's going to show but we did just order a bigger rug for the living room and we also have our couch coming in this week so I'm really excited about that. I think our couch is coming in Wednesday and y'all should be watching this on Tuesday if you're watching this the day it goes up. But um, so our couch is coming in soon and we ordered a bigger rug for the living room and then we're also going to get a rug to go in our dining room area in the kitchen so I feel like once I get all of those bigger rugs in this space the floors are going to be a little bit easier to keep up with. Break it down to a second a million thought a dream go 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 for the limit with the power of belief to soak it up like a flower like a summer field aching to be healed just rain on me you blow me into space the power of your embrace lift me up the ceiling up and away fly me over the rivers so now that i done with the floors in the living room I'm moving on to the ones in the kitchen and what I like to do is do it room by room like this because I have 
done it all at one time before and just vacuumed all of this huge space at one time and then I mopped all of that space at one time and I missed a lot of places and I think it's just because I got overwhelmed because it was such a big area and I was trying to do it quickly so when I do it one room at a time like this I feel like I'm more thorough my new pillows on the couch. I only have two new pillows. The other gray ones have already been there, but I recently picked up some with these like rhinestones on them. I feel like they look super glam, but they don't match with my couch right now, but the couch that we are getting in this week is blue. So I can't wait to put these on there. I feel like they're gonna go perfectly with that. But then I went into my laundry room and I was just getting some laundry out of the dryer. That way I could fold it and putting some more into the dryer. A few of you guys mentioned that I should turn the dryer door around because it is hard for me to pick up the basket and put it on the other side. Our laundry room is kind of tight, but if I put it on the other side, then I would have to lean over it to get the clothes into the dryer. So I feel like there is not really any good fix for this room. I got all of my laundry folded my husband offered to put it up for me so I was definitely gonna let him do that because I hate putting up the laundry I love folding it but I just hate putting it up but then I went into our bedroom and I just started making the bed and getting everything cleaned up in there we recently got a new mattress and I feel like we might need a bigger comforter for our bed because the mattress is a little bit higher. We ended up getting a sleep number and we have really been loving it. It's taken a little bit of time to get adjusted to because you do have to find your sleep number, um, but we have really been enjoying playing around with it. I really love being able to sit up in bed. Um, I actually like sleeping like that sometimes, 
also having my feet elevated it's really nice um, just to have that option sometimes if I want to sleep like that I will find a place for us I will show you where to go I won't try to change your mind cause I'm always on your side I recently picked up this new candle from Home Goods whenever I was there shopping for all of my Easter stuff. It's from the brand L and it's in sparkling Prosecco and oh my gosh, it smells so good. I've had it going all day. I actually have it going right now. It is right beside me and it smells amazing. And the last thing I needed to do was clean up our bathroom. It had gotten really messy. And like I was telling you guys, I just got a few new things in from Grove Collaborative. So I brought a few things into my bathroom that needed to go in here. And I just needed to put those away and had not gotten to that yet. totally random but I had these candles over on my countertops and I just decided to bring it over to my bath I feel like it looks a whole lot more relaxing whenever I walk in the bathroom and I can see the candles burning over there in the corner so that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and it gave you a lot of cleaning motivation let me know what you got done down below in the comments and subscribe to my channel if you are new and share this video with your friends if you know of someone who needs some cleaning motivation today and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!